All right, welcome to Small Business Spotlight. We have a special guest, not one, but two, with Nicole Angel, if you recognize her as a spe uh, guest already on this podcast, and then it's our, our monthly show that we do, but she brought one of her psychics that's already done a Soul Joel production down in Clearwater. Hell yeah. Yeah, and now uh, <laughs> tonight we have uh, a spe uh, an event, it's our Night with Spirit, that's normally with Nicole Angel, but now we have Amy Sikarski. Did I nail it? You got it. You got, got it. it. <laughs> All the way. Do we do we say where you're yeah, from sure, or no? Oh, sure. okay, okay. Arkansas. There you go. Woo! <laughs> yeah, we and I was for waiting. For, yeah, I was waiting for the uh, live the audience. audience. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ro 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 Ronin. <laughs> so. Uh, but I think I told Nicole this, and I, I just told Amy this off camera. Uh, I was managing Shuli from the Howard Stern Show, writer producer, before the pandemic, manifesting everything that's happened. Hell and yeah. his wife is big; it, it follows her page, raised the tribe. Oh, nice! Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So it's just small coincidence small that small world, small man. world. It's yeah. all coming full circle. Yeah. And how did you guys meet? Online, oh, yeah. <laughs> Go figure. What I didn't. Did we do online? I did. We did. Sounds like you guys are dating. Yeah. <laughs> How did you guys? Oh, we met online. online. <laughs> yeah. I think we we did meet online because you were on a podcast. And then hello. hello and then I was on it the next week. How very 2024 of you. Yes, I know. Yes. Although this was in 2016. 16. Yeah, yeah 16. When we met. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, wait, you were living in Arizona? Uh, 2016, I was in Boca Raton, Florida. Okay, okay. Yeah, right. 2015 I was in Arizona, but actually we met as I was moving from Arizona to Florida. Because I did the podcast when I was in Florida. You were in Florida? Yeah, I was in Florida. But you kept talking about how you go to Austin, and then I was in Fort Worth. Okay. So then Nicole came to Fort Worth, and we met in person. And we just, oh. like, clicked. It was so fun. Yeah. Yeah. We started going doing all our lives on Instagram. So Yeah, okay. and nobody was really doing lives. It was in, like, live was brand new. So okay, we okay, got okay. the idea, let's do spirit reading super mm -hmm. quick, give the audience like a ton of information for free, which nobody was doing. Right. And we were like, just like, let's You're giving wait. away the milk for free. I, <laughs> fuck yeah, man. <laughs> we can curse on this, yeah, by the sorry. way. <laughs> Little Rock. Yes, it's all good. It's yeah, yeah. all good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you're living in the Bible Belt. I guess I am now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm with Walmart. I'm, I'm, I'm new. Yeah, there. Yeah, there is a Walmart there. No, yeah. no that's a Walmart. <laughs> Not to brag. <laughs> Not to brag. I have a Walmart yeah. like ten minutes away. Yeah. <laughs> no, but Walmart's from Arkansas. They are. Their main headquarters. Yeah, yeah. I think Bentonville. Bentonville. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah. Not to brag. No. Not, not, yeah. Hey. Yeah. But we have we have a Whole Foods, so we have a Target. I'm, okay. I'm good. I'm taken care of. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we start. So we started doing online um, readings, and yeah. we we blew up. Like the it just went absolutely crazy, and people were wanting to know like how can I do this for myself? How can I work f with you guys? And at that time, it was so crazy because on Instagram, well, live you just get their handle in a tiny ass little circle. Like you don't even like talk about live audience and doing yeah. readings. I actually get to see a person yeah. on Instagram live. You're getting a fucking circle, right? Ah, yeah. And like a little icon and going hmm. And so it's really just spirit work at that time and and mm -hmm. tele or telecommunications, telepathic, Same. telepathic. Yeah, Tele you're doing great. <laughs> so far, so good. <laughs> And so people were like, wow, they really do have gifts because, like, I don't, you, you can't just, get nothing off of a little fucking Right, it's like uh, not handle. like you could Google it. No, you know what I'm saying? Like, in yeah. person. And, and the handles are so, like, I'm with her or whatever, yeah. you know? Well, the first event we did, and people were always like, like, oh, this is, they're, like, um, skeptic or whatever. Yes, and totally. And she picked a lady out in the audience, started saying it, she goes, so you outlived three husbands. Like, you're a widow. And the lady, three, hu like, you could just say widow, but three? Yeah. Yeah. And it's like that was crazy. Thanks. Like like what are the odds that someone outlives two husbands? One husband, three? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I mean that's very specific. Yeah, yeah spirit spirit <laughs> is very specific and that's how Amy and I work and we're very connected in that way is that we want sp sp specific information yeah. so that it's a good time for everyone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so then we opened up a psychic school in 2018 where we teach people how to connect in and then that just was like a lot of fun and so um, we started doing hone in on their their gifts. Yeah, hone in on their gifts, and we'll actually do the talking here. <laughs> Amy and I, you're doing great. That's you're why you're translating for me. Yeah, I love the it. The English, yeah, yeah. the English language. Oh man, this is what happens. That's I why we put you in the middle. Mention. Thank you. I'm like the baby. <laughs> Amy, <you're, laughs> Amy, your thoughts. <laughs> 
great. It was a good time. But even then on the Instagrams, you couldn't have two people on the screen. So we were propping up all of our accounts and we had like three phones and we were reading off of three. Do you remember that? Yeah. That was so fun. So did you have uh, like uh, someone reading for you or you Never guys were just reading? We you? were doing all of it. Like we would just go back and forth, <laughs> pop on this account, pop on that one. We had our personal and then the school. Sometimes we go on Raise a Vibe Tribe. We still do that sometimes. Okay. So for the lives... But, it's but you really try to keep it separated, right? Like uh, Somewhat, because, you know, everybody comes to raise a vibe for certain just yeah. positive affirmations and all that. Yeah. And not everybody is into mediumship or psychic. So right. I kind of... Or knows you. They might or know, know like, me. Yeah, because, you know, that page is for humanity. It's for the collective. It's not about me. Yeah. So then I've got my page and the school's page, which is where we share a lot of more of the channeled stuff and we do the readings. So Raise the Vibe Tribe is great because it's... Just awesome information and positive affirmations for everybody. You know, anybody right. can tune in. So sometimes we do both, but I do enjoy working with large audiences, whether it be online or in person, because it's so fun to see how some of the information is, we call it piggybacking. So somebody sitting by somebody else gets a very similar message, but it's meant for both of them. Right. And then you get details, which is really cool too. And plus we don't know these, like we don't know anybody. Right. I, mean, we, I, I, don't. I know from Nicole talking to her after an event, like, it's supposed to be an hour and a half, ends up being like two hours and 15 minutes, and like she's drained afterwards yeah. because you're getting all yeah. this energy through your whole body and all these people. We, I, I think she all but read five people and they weren't mad. Two of the ladies came up. They were like, "Is there something wrong with us? Like we're not, we're not mad. We're just wondering why we didn't. Like they were just like we just didn't get picked. It was odd that like they weren't mad. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, but they yeah. were just like, "Is there?" Well, totally. <laughs> and that's what I said. Like, um, so I had a reading myself because I love getting readings. And um, there's this really amazing medium that was introduced to me recently. Not Amy. Not Amy. No so offense. Another no, 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 no. Another okay. one. Yeah. Yeah. We, love, we love all mediums. <laughs> we yeah. do. Love, we have no discrimination. Well, this is mediums. awkward. <laughs> And cut. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start from the top. Yeah. <laughs> All right, tell me more about Little Rock. Oh my God. <laughs> so, and and he's like, you need, he's like, you're absolutely crazy. You try to read the whole audience. He's like, I don't know anyone that does that. Like, goes into a room of like a couple hundred people and tries to damn near read the whole entire audience. Right. Like, because I just want to give people the best show of their life, really. And so I thought, like, let's bring Amy because she's a badass. And, like, the two of us together, we can read the entire audience. And what happens is when you are sitting in a group like that with that much energy coming through, you're given a gift. Like, there's a gift of love and inspiration and spiritual enlightenment. Like, I, I everybody that leaves says they feel better than when they walked in. And that's really what I want to gift people when they come to the show is that they're actually feeling better when they leave. You right. Know? But yeah, it is a lot. It's a lot of energy. Words start getting jumbled up because I'm trying to talk so fast, you know. Mm -hmm. But when there's the two of us working together, Amy and I have such a nice, cohesive relationship that we're able to bounce the energy off of each other so that we get uh, energized, so it doesn't drain us. Yeah, so it's not like you guys read twice the amount because there's two of you. It's almost like you're just not drained because you're you're well, sharing. Well, we can go quicker. Okay. Where, where sometimes, because um, what happens is there's a lag time when I'm going from like one person to the next because I have to follow the energy. From one person For to Abraham Lincoln. Yes. Back to another person. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, he's been stuck. Anywho. Yes. <laughs> Good old Abe. Wait, Abraham Lincoln. Oh, my God. His cousin showed up. His it, cousin? His cousin. Wait, his great, like, his long, long lost, like, cousin, like, you know, pretty far down the line. Yeah. So, so far, I've met his great, I said, great upstate New York in a Honda Civic. She goes, I don't drive a Honda Civic. I go, some of these are going to be jokes. <laughs> fucking car I drive don't do that <laughs> <laughs> back to you so 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 far I've met Abraham Lincoln's great 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 uh godson or grandson and then I've also met a cousin of his living living okay isn't that cool? Like, yeah. it's amazing. So those of you who don't know, Abraham Lincoln is one of my spirit guides, and he has definitely come through, and he helps in the shows. How he fits in your car with that hat. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and that beard. Yes. Both must be. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Totally. Such a sight. <laughs> totally. So what do you so, think? So, so yeah, so, uh, no, go ahead. What well, I was going to say, so what do you think about being here so far, like the energy? Oh, I love it. Yeah. Yeah, I really do. I mean, I've only been here less than 24 hours. But yeah. <laughs> but so far, it's really good energy. Like, it feels clean and happy. So, and it's spring. What's not, you know, who doesn't love the sun coming out and all yeah. the 
birds and all of nature happening. So I'm enjoying it. I'm really looking forward to tonight to meeting everyone. We have, I was telling Joel, we have people coming in that we know, well, from online. So it'll be fun to meet him in person and put a face to the name. So. Put a face to the handle. Yeah. To a handle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. The little yeah. icon. <laughs> well, I always say that too, because I lived in New York for 15 years and then I lived in New Jersey and moved out here like uh, to Pennsylvania. Like I feel like even if they're in the Northeast, it's still a different energy every time you even just get out of the car. So I can only imagine the difference in energy from Arkansas to Philadelphia. Yeah, yeah. It's well, probably a little bit more energy, right? Like There's more energy here. Yeah. There is. But also, you know, like I'm on the outskirts of Little Rock and here in Pottstown. It, it's got this nature vibe that I really appreciate. I just miss it from coming from Houston. I need the nature energy, but it helps the medium. It helps the channel because it helps you clarify your energy field so you mm -hmm. can get a cleaner read. The, okay. You know, the less busy that, that you are. So being outside of Philly is, is a good deal. Yeah, yeah, and the Sunnybrook is an awesome venue. Like, mm -hmm. I know you haven't toured mm -hmm. it yet, but, like, after this, we'll go tour it. It's, it's pretty badass. So, like, when we open up spiritually, like, everybody comes out to play. Like, all the spirits. Like, I'm sitting there reading people. I'm just watching shit fly by. Yeah. I'm like, all right, there it goes, you know, and, like, trying to talk about it. And, and a few shows back, because I'm going to say it just so your audience <laughs> knows I'm not full of shit. So we had a show here in February and literally spirit was like popping the veil. Like lights were going on and off. Shit was flying across the room. I was like, and the light of God, bam. And all the lights went, and like, you can't fake this. It's so amazing. So I am hoping <laughs> with the two of us here, more spiritual energy will show up. So that's why we love doing large group readings because mm -hmm. the more concentrated energy, the easier it is for spirit to show up physically. Well, that happened when we did, we did a, uh, um, around Halloween, we did a, um, a nighttime tour mm -hmm. and we were supposed to do it uh, well inside and outside, but then it started thundering and lightning. And it, if you look at the weather, it was supposed to be clear at night. And it was supposed to thunder and lightning in the afternoon, like an afternoon shower, and then be done. But it ended up doing it at 11 o'clock, so we're like, all right, we're going to skip the outside. So, and then as soon as they entered where, where I met you at the bar, bar, they walked in that room, and like the movie Clue, it went ba-boom, yep. and the lights went out. <laughs> and they're like, Joel, you planned that. I go, first of all, my hands are making a drink. <laughs> So if I am that amazing, I need to quit what I'm doing and just do, I go, I did not, I go, first of all, all the electricity went out. Yeah. Wow. So how could I even plan that? Like you're doing a, like a tour guide, yeah. uh, a guided tour, sorry. And then you come in this room and then it goes out. Like you can't plan that. Oh. So, but I keep t I always tell people about that. It was like it was amazing. Crazy. And then what did we do? Because we couldn't do the tour outside. So then I just started doing readings. I'm like, all right, fuck it, we're here. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Everybody gets a reading, and so we just sat around drinking and doing things. Yeah, a good time. Yeah, and the guy had the pack like Ghostbusters. Yeah. Did he no, really? he's a friend of mine. He what? He's coming. Wait, he has. <laughs> He's a paranormal investigator. Oh, there was something paranormal. <laughs> yeah, he's a paranormal investigator. <laughs> pa para not normal. <laughs> <laughs> and he comes through, and he, he uses all the equipment to, like, actually get It's hard to stay place. focused with a guy like that in the room. Oh, my God. Or, yeah. I was going to say, or you. Oh. Yeah, like, yeah. all the comedy, man. It's fun. Yeah. So, but do you remember the, our first podcast? This is our third, but the very first one that we did, and I was like brand new here, just got back from being downtown. That's when we talked downtown. about eight. Down south for eight years. We were filming, and then all of a sudden, the chair moved, or something happened, like the yeah, cushion yeah. moved, or it felt like, and you were like, uh, <laughs> did you just see that? I'm like, that's what I'm talking about. Spirit will move shit. Oh, boy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A lot of fun. It so. is fun. Yeah. Yeah. So do you have any th stuff that like that happened to you? Oh my goodness. I have, I have. So Nicole works a lot with departed loved ones, so mediumship, and I also do, but I more focus on angels and spirit guides or send masters, but I also work with what we call star beings, star seed beings, and I have had them come through and dim my lights in my house, like the whole house, and my kids ran up to my room, they're like, what's going on? I'm like, well, I was just having a conversation, and they had to confirm. <laughs> so. I've had them mess with the lights, that's for sure. Um, so what do your kids think about what you do? Well, you know, they're adults now, so okay, they're, okay. they're really into the other kind of life. They're in therapy now. No, I'm <laughs> joking. <laughs> we'll let that's you know. A joke. It's a we, joke. We kind of, I never pushed this on them. <laughs> Not at all. I grew ever. up really religious, and then yeah. I left that, and I'm into this world, so I just let them make their own way. Mm -hmm. So they're in business and computer science, so they're very much grounded in what you would say, like traditional 
you know, jobs and skills. So they, they have their own flow. I think they're, they're both very intuitive, but they don't do readings and stuff like okay. I do. Yeah. Yeah, like my kid, you know, your kids are totally gifted. Like my mm -hmm. kids will sit there, we'll be eating breakfast, and I'll see a spirit like go by, and then my little two year old's like, Mama. <laughs> I'm like, Ghost. I'm like, Yeah, ghost. I, I'm serious. And then my Michael, he won't go in the room that you're staying in. Ah, because. He's with me today. Yeah, because yeah. there's too many spirits in that room. And then we'll talk about like what angels look like and. You know, it's really fascinating to see the spirit world through a two-year-old and a four-year-old's eyes. Do your nieces or nephews, do they have, like, an imagination? Do they oh, they anything? all have a wild imagination. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 About any of that? Uh, I haven't really talked to them about that, but I, I know kids, like, see more than they adults because yeah. their mind's open. Mm -hmm. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Totally. So so where are we having it? We're having it in, in the Melody Room. In the Melody Room. Which is part of, it used to be part of the ballroom, but it's lower ceilings and it's more intimate. Yeah. yeah. It's a good time. Yeah. It's yeah. a good time. And I, it's funny because every show or every month is a different crowd, different audience. Yeah, yeah. And it's like this, this area, I'm just so impressed that people are genuinely wanting to connect with spirit and genuinely wanting to connect with their guides. Like, you can literally help somebody within seconds, yeah. five minutes. Like, the joke about therapy, I actually am in therapy. <laughs> <laughs> we all need it. We it's all, need all good. It. Yeah, even the medium needs therapy. Anyway, so I'm sitting there watching my therapist, and I'm like, hello, uh, I can get through this shit in five minutes, and I'm on five sessions. What happened here? So that's the beauty of coming into a show. Mm -hmm. It's like it really does speed up time, but people receive healing and nurturing and love that they would not have been able to receive otherwise like it happens very quickly because when you know intimate details about spirit or angels or their life path they their confidence you know um the the walls drop and then the confidence builds like oh my god somebody actually loves me somebody actually gives a shit enough about me in my life and that i'm not here by mistake like a lot of right. people think they just have a bad hand at life or th bad things keep happening to them they don't see how to get out of it or they want to know like hey my loved one's looking out for me that you know i am on the right path and i can make this decision because when you know that you're supported by spirit or the angels you can make really big life decisions very easily and like i just for instance got done you know some pretty heavy personal sessions and a lot of people are moving through trauma and abuse and it's like you can make not make but support years of trauma or abuse like dissipating because they're getting that love that they need from their mother their grandfather grandmother somebody coming through the veil saying like uh yeah i was not a good parent yeah i love you know should have treated you better and although this isn't a therapy session right <laughs> that we're doing tonight but it is a cohesive learning and love loving experience for the whole collective so not only are you getting entertainment you're also getting some good vibes to take home with you so i think that's what separates our show that's really and cool it makes it fun yeah and i don't think people are looking for answers they're just looking to get connected you know Too. but then yeah. if they get it if that's like a bonus if they get yeah that's a good way of putting it maybe <laughs> you should be the promoter no well <laughs> so i i try yeah do you, get, do you see people coming back time and time again, too? So I do. Like, I do have a core group that will come in, like, every quarter. Like, different people. You know what I mean? So yeah. I would say we've been doing it for a year now. Like, and I'm out in the neighborhood. I see a lot of people are like, oh, my God, I saw you. I saw you. But we get a lot of new people. Right. Like, a lot of new people. So they tell their friends. And, um, you know, I've had people come in from New York, Delaware, New Jersey, here. Arkansas no yeah. hey. <laughs> but how, how did you how did you get into it like initially oh goodness. years ago mm -hmm. well I I first fell into this world in high school okay and then I went to be a nurse but I always had this feeling of helping more in a spiritual way yeah and energy so in 2001 I took Reiki and then later when I started working with the public during Reiki all my Claire gifts turned on so I started seeing past lives and spirit guides, and I can see the energy anatomy, what's going on in the body for energy, um, physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual health. And so then I was like, oh my gosh, I have these gifts that I didn't realize I had, and yeah. that's how it all happened, and which then turned into readings. So I do readings, but like Nicole was saying, you know, we can connect with loved ones. We also talk about timelines, so it's like if people have a choice to make, and we can see like the psychic space of it, well, if you make this decision, this is what's most likely to happen. And so I feel that that can help people give them clarity and peace, which is so important. I mean, I've had a lot of things go on. We just had a big move and lots of decisions to make. And sometimes you just want some information from spirit. 
that is unattainable any other way. And I think that that's one of the strongest things that I feel people find a lot of peace with. Yeah, signs. Like you talk about all the time when you were buying this place, all yeah. the signs. Cardinals. Mm -hmm. and yeah. Oh. yeah. Yeah, so like signs I believe from the spirit world. Right. Yes. That yes. Knowing that you're on the right path. Yeah, I just said, ah, because we have cardinals <laughs> now. I love it. Our backyard's full of cardinals and blue jays. Yeah. I did not have that in Houston, so... Yeah. yeah, there was a guy when I um the was talking about the signs. I uh I was meeting with the former owner who sold the place to me. We were meeting with uh, the township and they were like approving everything and it was it went great. And I had looked at like maybe five or six different towns and thirty different properties. And when they left, a guy walked in. I had never seen him before, and hadn't seen him since. And he walked in. And he was like, "Hey, do you still have that organ? There's an historic organ downstairs. It used to be for one room movie theater." It played all the uh, music and sound effects for during the silent film era in a one-room movie theater in a town like 15, 20 minutes from here. And uh, so he walked in. He was like, oh, can I go play that organ? And the, for, uh, the former owner was like, yeah, go ahead and play. So my sister and I, like, all right, we'll see you later. We go in the parking lot. We're just, like, catching up on the meeting. And Chuck, the former owner, comes right now. you got to go see, hear this guy play. And um, he was playing – from Beauty and the Beast, be our guest, be our guest, put our magic to the test. And it felt like it was like oh, wow. like singing to me, you know, like it was yeah. it was like a message. And I go, I had never given credit to my mom's mom, who was uh, a music teacher and then played the organ every Sunday in church. I'd always gave credit to my last two grandparents that were still alive when I was doing this, my dad's um, mom and then my mom's dad. And mm -hmm. but they've had but they uh, had mm -hmm. since passed. And I but anyway, so I go, you remind me of my grandmother. And he even had the fat, flabby arms. But I didn't say that to him. <laughs> no, please she thought, don't. She thought, <laughs> yeah. she thought exercise was for horses. Right, yeah. Which but but, the guy, but the, guy, no. the, guy goes, the guy goes, that's what I do. He goes, I'm a music teacher, and then I play the organ every Sunday in church. And he goes, anyway, he was just happened to be, he was from Delaware. He was just dropping someone off in Pottstown, like right by here. He hadn't been here in 10 years. And uh, so he goes, all right, I got to go back to Delaware. I'm like, yeah, or heaven. So I drove home, and on the uh, fence was two cardinals. And I was like, ever since then, it fell into place at this place. So then fast forward, I haven't told this story yet, but this guy um, uh, comes in on March and hadn't seen him since. This was a year and a half ago in June of 2022. And I didn't really take over until October 31st on Halloween of that year. So he walks in and he goes, I go, do you want to play the organ? He starts playing and uh, I go, dude, I didn't think you were real. I thought you were an angel. He goes, I live in Delaware. Here's my card. I go, I know. We've had this conversation. He starts telling me everything again. And he starts playing <laughs> 200 people for this uh, World War II dance. Everybody's dressed up like World War II soldiers and nurses. They start giving them, like, applause breaks. And they thought, I planned this. They're like, this is great. I go, I'm not even paying him. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even know his name until right, today. Right, right. Wow. It was wild. Yeah, yeah, But I, I was like, uh, yeah, it was a year and a half ago. He goes, is that when it was? I'm like, this guy. He doesn't is, remember. Yeah, but he just acts like an angel. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah it was wild. Yeah. That's cool. That's yeah. Amazing. There are incarnated angels. We talk, we talk about that a lot, mm -hmm. like where they show up as human form. Where really? They, oh, yeah, yeah, all the time. Yeah, yeah but I checked him out, man. He's got a website and everything. Like. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping He's he alive. was. I was hoping he was an angel. Yeah, he showed yeah, up. Yeah. I was like, "What are you doing?" I'm like, "You're ruining my beliefs." <laughs> I thought Don't you were an angel. Person. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like, he was even on LinkedIn. Oh, <laughs> I'm no. like, this is BS, man. <laughs> Well, he's definitely connected. So oh, he 100%. He followed Spirit, let him give him all these messages and confirmation for you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you believe in that, Cardinals? I do. Yeah. Yes, I do. I think that Spirit speaks to us through so many symbols and signs, and I love when it shows up in nature. Yeah. I mean, it's just amazing. So if some people have spirit animals and, you know, they're going through a hard time or they have a question and they haven't seen an animal for some time and then it flies by the window or hops yeah. by the car, yeah, I believe in that. All yeah. Of it. I I'm driving home at night one time, and I'm like, what does it mean when a fox <laughs> crossed my path? And I'm like, I think, I think we're stretching here. <laughs> I know. Then you're gonna Google like every freaking. Yeah. What does it mean when there's an end? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, no. What is it? Is it building my future? Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, you really can do all that, and like the numbers too, because I know a lot of people see numbers like mm -hmm. the sequence. Repeat. Yes. Yeah, like, like the two, 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 one, eleven, 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 seven, seven, seven. Yeah. You're all like of that's that. a gambling addiction. <laughs> Dude, well, I tell people to play the number. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I'm no better. I'm like, yo, that's spirit talking to you. Go yeah, play yeah. It, you know. But they do. They let us know that we're on the right path, and that um, 
there there's a sequence to life we call it synchronicities we call it manifestation whatever like especially when you're trying to do something big like this or move or um start a show and so like everything has to line up in order for it to really pop like everything all the pieces have to match up so that it's just like a it's a layup it's a straight shoot into the basket you know <laughs> It's the same thing with your page because I feel like when you started all of your pages, like it was like perfect time, you know, before anyone and like everything just like blew up, you know, yeah. online, you know, because like you try to do that stuff now today. It's like so like the algorithm so crazy. It's a little tricky. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. It was just I don't know. I just got a message. I called a download. Just this thought that came in go on Instagram and I didn't even know what Instagram was so I had to ask our kids like what is this app you know <laughs> what's going on here and it took me a minute but I got a hang of it and I and that's why Braze the Vibe Tribe is for everybody you know because I just got this feeling to put some positive energy out there help people in their down times and we love the angel numbers we call them all those sequ sequential numbers angel numbers and Spirits will come through in so many different ways, but signs and billboards, that's the cool one. When you ask the question and the billboard or, or you know, license plate, oh, license yeah. plate, bumper sticker, you're yeah. like, how in the, like, how? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, so funny story, uh, we had a comedian and obviously like comedians, they make fun of anything. Nothing is uh, like yeah. off limits from a wedding to a funeral. Like <laughs> you can always yeah, find laughter or something. So yeah. he starts making fun of, and, and I believe and like, I post them all the time. Like, like, um like the quotes yeah. Yeah. and I'll post them on my own. And, and he goes, uh, yeah, you know, uh, my friend said, uh, you know, se seize the day. Cause, uh, tomorrow's not promised. And, and, and he, and he goes, then all of a sudden he goes, what are you going to do, man? He goes, I woke up and it's Tuesday all over again. He goes, well, what are you going to do, man? Tomorrow's not promised. There was a girl in the front row heckling the whole time. Like, I don't know if it was drugs or she was just day drinking. Oh, it was fuck. bad. Yeah. He starts, he starts talking. He goes, what does that tattoo say? She goes, seize the day. Cause tomorrow's not promised. But Whoa, inked, oh yeah, inked, you can't the make that. whole place starts dying. <laughs> yeah. Like what he was just making fun of is written on her arm. Yeah. It, it was like it was like something like a big reveal. Like he was a, some sort of a magician. Ink magician. Yes. yes, I love that. The whole place was dying. Oh wow. my god. He goes, well, what are you gonna do? He goes, the way you drink. He goes, tomorrow's not promised. <laughs> that, that's a great ending. Oh, it was so perfect. That's it, a perfect ending. Yeah. Oh my gosh. But I, I believe in that stuff. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, how do you build a life, right? Like a life you want to live. Well, I, yeah, I, I've been manifesting for years. Yeah, yeah man. I you believe in to. all of it. Yeah, especially with the entertainment industry and shows and yeah. who you know and networking. And, yeah. you know, like when everything lines up and it just takes off and you can't, it's like a God moment. Yeah. You can't fake that. Right. You know? I mean, it's hard work too, but you have to. Yes, it is hard work. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what can people expect tonight with, with both of you there? Good time. <laughs> <laughs> She's getting the hang of it. <laughs> no, I'm oh saying because we're in the comedy place. So Only thirty dollars, very yeah. affordable. <laughs> oh my gosh! Well, I think we really want everybody to feel comfortable. Some people get nervous about something like this, so feel comfortable, and um, we can kind of tell if they want to be read or not. But most everybody wants to be read, even if they're fascinated or skeptic, just intrigued. Yeah. So come with an open heart and mind, and let spirit bring a message through. You know, I always find like if you're open to the message, then you might get some piece of information you didn't even know the question. Like you weren't even thinking about asking this. And then you get some information and you're like, huh, so just sit with it. Maybe tomorrow or the next day, that moment will happen where you need to have that information. So I always say just come with open heart and mind. Nicole and I are pretty cool. We're down to earth, real, real girls here, you know, and we'll just see how it flows as far as what everybody individually needs. And I love that. So you were talking about how we would work on different sides of the room. And we just get attracted to the energy. So while she's giving a breeding, I'm over here feeling, okay, where am I being called next? So we okay. go back and forth and walk all around wherever spirit, like a magnet, you just get pulled. So then when she's done, I start reading. And that's how we cut, cut because you're Because you're back, you're like a third person. Like mm -hmm. you're not the person you're, she's reading yes. and yeah. We go back and forth, back and forth. So it's pretty awesome. And I say, you know, bring your friends, bring your family, whoever might be interested or yeah. if they love all of this stuff. It's, it's always fun to meet other psychic mediums with yeah, the work yeah. that we do. So everybody's welcome. Well, and, I, yeah, and, and speaking of everybody's welcome, I also noticed that um, you don't have to come with someone. Like no. there's a lot of people that come by themselves and 
they very everyone's very welcoming it's a positive environment they don't have to worry about coming with a group oh i didn't come i missed out on coming because i didn't have anyone to go with like just come by yourself and right. this you know whether you're coming with a group or you're coming by yourself just come yeah ab absolutely <laughs> it's a good time <laughs> Sorry, I'm speaking from the heart, and I'm, like, <laughs> and I'm going a bit off script. You're like, wow, Joel, that was very well put. I agree. Could have said anything. Say nothing. Say less. <laughs> but I'm bummed. <laughs> so you can expect a good time, man, because I'm yeah. all about the jokes and having yeah. a great time. Expect nothing. You'll be very happy. <laughs> Yeah. Just show up, see what the fuck happens. <laughs> <laughs> Doors open at six. The show starts shortly thereafter. And we have a it's great time started. in spirit. Yeah, it's already started. The oh energy's boy. high intense. Yeah. It's very intense. Yes. We make spirit and the angels like very down to earth and very um easy and, and raw and authentic and real. And you know, I curse a lot because I'm from Philly and that happens. The F bomb's gonna be flying. But it was a good fucking time. Well and uh <laughs> you always say to me that uh you feel the energy building before you're even in the room. Like Amy, yes. do you feel that too? Oh, like absolutely. Like well, the was, day of an event. Oh my my gosh, I was feeling it a few days ago, and I'm like, okay, it's starting. So what happened? Before you even got on the plane. Yes, because, you know, whoever is working with us on the other side, if it's our spirit guides, angels, family, they're starting to drop the message to get people to come. You know, okay. and there's, sometimes it takes a little bit to coax them in from the spirit. They're like, we want to talk to you. Go, we've got something to say. So they kind of circle around, and you can kind of feel it building for sure. Yeah. And then it's like right before a big game, my husband says, like he's a football player, right before a big game you get those butterflies, like you just feel the energy building. Yeah. And so I feel that always before a show because it's so intense with everybody. And then the second you start, boom, you start channeling it through, and it just smooth settling. So, yeah, it's, it's amping up. I'm yeah. excited. <laughs> yeah. It is. It's a, um, so I just re reminded uh, there was a priest one time in South Philly. Like when I first started, like probably about not Abraham Lincoln, not Abraham Lincoln. No, okay. <laughs> well, a real priest, a real priest. <laughs> we believe he was real. <laughs> and I had just hopped out of corporate and I was doing this full time. Um, and I didn't know how to get clients or whatever. And somehow, some way, a priest was giving out my business card down in South Philly. I had never given my business cards to a priest wow. in South Philly. So talk about an angel doing God's work. Like that's, yeah. I did a, a post about that this week. Like we may look different, like tattoos, cursing, having a good time, drinking a beer, whatever. But this is, I really do believe this is God's work. And I laugh at that because it just looks a little different. And like God, universe, we're not, I'm not religious. I'm spiritual i always tell people that it's like i'm creating a place where you can come as you are be your authentic mm -hmm. self and the angels and your loved ones in spirit just love you unconditionally and that's what we're creating here so people can be the best version of themselves but anyway it was so cool because th I, I had people like that god moments where they just helped me build my business and there was no other explanation as to why some stranger in south philly a priest was giving out my business card right yeah just I don't even know that this guy was at an event and we were doing uh, an interview and I don't even know where it's going to go if it's on the real radio, but he said he was on WGOD. So then, so then he asked me to do a plug and I go, WGOD, he goes, and cut. He goes, you know, I was joking, right? <laughs> That's not a real radio station. I go, yeah, I know. I was using your words. Oh, so There's some wacky people out there. I love that. Yeah. I love that. Oh boy. Well, I'm looking forward to tonight. Me too. Thanks yeah. for having us. Yeah, 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 Have absolutely. And I agree with uh, what, what you said about um, people starting to know because uh, we sent an email blast out every Tuesday, but the sales started coming in before the email blast even went out. There you go. Yeah, yeah. so <laughs> there was proof that you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every, everyone's just coming in and they're excited. We have a lot of new people here, um, so we're very excited. Totally. Yeah. yeah. Can't wait. Guys should come. Have a great time. Yeah. Have a laugh. Have a drink. Have fun. Yep, get tickets yes. at souljoles.com. Doors open at 6. Show starts at 7. We'll see you tonight. Bye. Bye.